Hey guys, real quick, I just started filming my next video that I filmed like after I filmed this video and I realized that my camera angle was really crazy. I had the camera up really high and long story short, I didn't realize it was up so high so I apologize for the weird angle. Now it's back down to where it should be. So I don't know, I feel like this video is going to be a little bit of a hot mess but hopefully you guys appreciate it. Sneak peek at the final look and uh, yeah. We'll get there guys. I'm on the struggle bus. Hopefully I'll hop off soon. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is the first makeup video I am filming since I became a mom. How crazy is that? It feels super weird, but I'm ready to get back into it and I have a ton of new makeup that I recently acquired, whether it's through PR or stuff that I purchased. I got a really exciting package from Charlotte Tilbury, you guys. Charlotte Tilbury sent me PR. I was like, is this real? When I got the email, I told Matt, I was like, mm, I have a feeling this isn't real, but sure enough, they sent me this awesome package filled with so many goodies. I also recently purchased some stuff from Ulta and Sephora, so I'm just excited to put it all on my face and have some fun. So before I became a mom, I used to totally be that person that got super annoyed when all people talked about was their kids, but I feel like now all I wanna talk about is my kids but the thing is i know that not all of you are like into the whole baby thing so i'm trying to find the balance in my channel of doing like mom um baby mom and makeup related videos i eventually would like to also get back into planner videos and then of course fitness videos but it's just really hard to like find the time to balance my new life it's it's been really hard you guys so I'm going to do the best I can in this video to focus on the makeup and then we will talk about baby and stuff in other videos. So I just primed my face. This is nothing new. I have the Hourglass Veil Primer and then the NARS um, Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. Those are kind of like my tried and true. So nothing new there. Um, for concealer, so right before I... Here we go again. When I was nine months pregnant, right before I had my baby... Um, CoverGirl sent me a package with a bunch of new stuff in it and I haven't really had a chance to play with it yet. It's been really hard to find time to even do makeup, I'm going to be honest. So um, I'm going to try it today, one of the things today. So this is their new concealer. It's their True Blend Undercover Concealer. This is in the color L700, which is natural ivory. They sent me three different colors. Um, I think this one was the lightest of the three. It reminds me a ton of Tarte Shape Tape. By the way, that's like, I'm sitting in front of a window. I closed the blinds because it was like super harsh light, but that's what that is in case you're wondering what that is. Um, yeah, it reminds me of Tarte Shape Tape, just a really thick wand. Um, I've kind of heard, yeah, this is really thick. I feel like you can really see the makeup on this side and then this side is like blown out by the light of the window. <laughs> so I don't know guys, we're on the struggle bus today, but that's okay, we'll figure it out, right? Um, I'm gonna blend that in uh, with my beauty blender. This is just the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. When I have really dry skin, I try to spray um, my concealer with this before I set it just so it doesn't look so dry and like cakey and creepy That definitely did a good job of covering my dark circles in that same package covergirl also sent um, Some setting powders, so I was really really excited about this. This is their true blend of minerals uh, Loose mineral powder, so it's just like comes in this little jar like this and this is in the banana shade So they sent me the banana shade and the translucent shade comes with a little powder puff like that. I'm actually gonna use my beauty blender to set it instead of the little puff that it comes with or to use it to set the under eyes. So I'm gonna kind of pile it on thick and then I'll brush it away. I'm gonna drag it down also so I don't have like the raccoon looking eyes. I'm also gonna powder my nose and my chin, I don't have any foundation on yet. I'm actually not gonna use a liquid foundation. I'm gonna use a powder foundation. It's just what's easiest for me. Okay, so for powder foundation, I got this new Cover FX powder from Ulta. Um, they might also sell it at Sephora, but I got it from Ulta. And it's not a new product, but it's new to me. So it's their pressed mineral foundation. I got the color P20. And then the brush I'm going to use to apply it, um, 
You guys always ask me what brush this is. It's a Sephora Pro brush, but they don't make it anymore. This is the number 61. So I've been trying to keep an eye out for a comparable foundation brush. The thing is, there's like nothing like this brush at all. It is amazing, and I don't know why they stopped making it. Um, so I've been trying to check out like the new Sephora Pro brushes to see if there's one that kind of compares to this, but it kind of has like a really dense kind of flat-ish top. And it applies powder foundation so well. It was so expensive. It was like a $45 brush, which is crazy, I think, for a brush. Um, but it's lasted me literally forever. And then it went on sale because I guess they were discontinuing it. And I remember I grabbed a backup. And I still have that backup. I haven't had to use it yet. But, yeah. So, if you guys know of a brush that's kind of like this, where it's really super dense and it has kind of a flat top, let me know. And it has to be big and fluffy like this. Well, so far, so good with that foundation. I feel like it looks really good. Sometimes powder foundation can look really thick and cakey, and this doesn't seem to look like that. Also, the concealer worked really well. It does remind me of Tarte Shape Tape. Maybe not quite as thick, but it's very similar. Brows I'm gonna do off camera, but I'm just gonna use the um, Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil. This is a new color. It's the color 2.5. They recently kind of expanded their color range, and this is the more neutral, like darker blonde color. Typically, I use the color 2. So I'm kind of curious to see how this will look, but I'm gonna do it off camera just cause it takes me a while and then we'll finish up my makeup after that. Okay, so let's see what is in this box, you guys. Oh my God. You have no idea how excited I was when I got this in the mail. I was like squealing. <laughs> they sent me their Magic Cream Moisturizer. I have wanted to try this for a very long time. They sent me two lip liners. It looks like one of them is in the color Pillow Talk. And the other one is, ooh, this is pretty. Oh, is this, oh, this is not a lip liner. This is an eyeliner. The Feline Flick, so it's their liquid eyeliner. Ooh, okay. This is their Full Fat Lashes Mascara. So there's those. There's more, you guys. It's so exciting. They sent one of their blushes in the color Ecstasy. We'll open that in a second and see what it looks like. They sent their matte lipstick in the color, I'm assuming, probably Pillow Talk. Their Film Star Bronze and Glow Palette. So, yeah, thank you so much, Charlotte Tilbury. I can't wait to try all of this stuff out. I already love this brand so much and this of course just makes me love them even more. They're such a good brand. So I'll have to keep you guys updated on all the stuff as I try it. Here's the blush. The blush, ooh that's beautiful. It's like a peachy pink. So for eyeshadow, I actually have quite a few options as well. I have the new Gingerbread palette from Too Faced. I have this that I received in PR from Lancome. It's their Monsieur Big. It's like a little heart palette. How cute is that, right? So, looks like this. I might try to use this. Cause look at those pretty pink colors. There's that. And then I also have this uh, Bare Minerals Gen Nude Neutral Palette. I bought this myself. I used my Ulta Points to buy it. Um, just because little tiny mini neutral palettes I think are so nice. And in my mind I was like, new mom, quick makeup, it'll be good to have. Here's what it looks like right there. So we're not gonna spend a lot of time on this. We're just gonna do something kind of quick and easy. So I'm gonna go in with this matte color right here. It's actually called Base. And, ooh, that's kind of pigmented. And then for a crease, I'm going to mix that base color with this color down here that says corner. It looks like it's kind of like sectioned off to create looks on its own. So this is the night look, this is the big date look, and this is the big crush look. But of course, you know, you can mix things however you want and do things however you want. I'm going to use this color that says base for my lower lash line. And then for all over my lid, I'm going to use... This is a really pretty color. Looks like it has pink sparkle in it. It says it's a base color. Ooh. Yeah, 
yeah, that's really pretty. And I can just dot it on. I don't even need a brush or anything. That's definitely a super cute little palette, and I think it'd be really nice for, like, holiday looks or even Valentine's Day looks. So I'm going to line my lids really quickly with this Maybelline eyeliner. I talked to you guys about this a couple months ago, and I'm still obsessed with it. It's their tattoo liner, and this is the brown one. I have yet to go back and get uh, the black one like I keep saying I'm going to, but next time I go to Target, I'm definitely going to pick up the black one because this eyeliner is so good, you guys. Okay, let's try this Charlotte Tilbury mascara. So I've tried one of their mascaras before. It was like the Volume 2, I think it was either Legendary Lashes or something like that. But I've never tried this one, and I really liked the one I tried before. So this is supposed to create, um, so it says curl your lashes, which I just did. Start from inner corner, brush lashes from root to tip, outer corner, pull brush out, and up to lengthen lashes. Use tip of the brush to coat bottom lashes. So maybe it's just because I haven't worn mascara in like a week, so... <laughs> Or maybe it's just because this is really that good, but I am loving the way this is making my lashes look. I don't know. Can you guys tell a difference? Am I just smoking something? Let's try a, sec a second coat. So here's what it looks like after two coats and it's dry. I also curled my lashes after they were dry, which a ton of people here on YouTube talk about doing, but it's always like terrified me to curl my lashes after product is on them but it really did make a difference and I'm actually really liking this mascara a ton I think this looks really good what do you guys think all right we have a couple of different options for bronzer so we have the uh, sculpt and glow bronze and glow from Charlotte Tilbury and then we also have this brand new hourglass palette that I got I'm so excited to have this I love the hourglass holiday palettes and this is the one from this year this is their ghost palette so this has um, some face powders in it, my favorite under eye setting powder, some blushes, and then this bronzer right here. The thing I've noticed with Hourglass bronzers is they lean very orangey and I don't love it, but this one is nice and like, it's better. It's not as warm. <laughs> but I think I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury one just so I can remind myself how much I love this palette. That looks really good. Either my brush smells good, something smells really good. Okay, so here's what it looks like with just the Charlotte Tilbury. I think it's the most perfect color for like fair to medium skin tones. It's nice and neutral. It almost leans a little bit cool which is perfect if you want to like carve out your cheekbones and contour. I'm going to go in with the hourglass one on top just to show you guys like what it looks like. This one has a little bit more of a sheen to it as do all hourglass palettes and powders. Whereas the Charlotte Tilbury one is completely matte. So there's that. So you can see how much darker it is. And there's like a tint of warmth to it, which isn't bad. It's just definitely a little bit more, um, I mean, warm is the best way to explain it. Okay, now the big question of the day is what highlighter and what blush am I going to use? So for highlighter, I have the highlighter in here and the highlighter in this palette. I actually think I'm going to use the Hourglass one. For blush, I have a ton of options. I have the Hourglass palette. I have my Charlotte Tilbury. I have this Lancome one. So Lancome sent me a ton of their blushes. I'm so excited to try them all out. This one seemed to be my favorite. It's in the color 217 Mill Glace, I believe is how you say it. But it's just like one of those nude blushes that I'm obsessed with. If you guys have been following my channel for a while, you know how much I love just like nude toned blushes. And this one is perfect. Ugh. It's like a pinky peachy nude. It's even kind of hard to see because it's, oh, I just love, I just love nude blushes. So there's that one. And then Kevin Aquan sent me one of their blushes. This is their Neo blush in the color Rose Cliff. Now this is really cool because it kind of like ombres. Oh, it's, it arrived broken. So I'm trying to with it and like push it back in but it's really cool because 
I don't know if you can see, but it kind of ombres from like a nudie peach to like a pink to a maroon. So it's really cool. You can get tons of looks out of it. Tons of different shades and tones. It works for all year long just because it has all those different colors in it. And then of course, Charlotte Tilbury. Oh, I'm so excited for this one. I have a couple of her blushes, but not the color Ecstasy. So I have Pillow Talk, Baby Love, I think is one of them. No, First Love, and then Love Glow. Is that right? Love Glow? Is that where the colors are? Yeah. So I think though, oh man. I think I'm gonna go with the Lancome one and then we can always layer more on top. Ooh, ooh. This definitely has a scent to it, like a clean scent to it. This is really pretty. And this is so pretty if you're wearing like a bold lip or a bold eye, or you just want more like a natural makeup look. Wearing a nude blush is like the perfect way to kind of do that. Super pretty. I think Gosh, I could definitely just stop there because this looks really good. <laughs> I think I'm going to layer the Kevin Aquan one on top of it just so I can see. I'm going to dab right in the middle to get some pink to kind of incorporate the pink from my eyes. Very pretty. Um, I'm going to go into the Hourglass palette and I'm going to use the color Dim Light which is this first one right here. This is an all over face palette color, all over face powder. And I'm just gonna dot it all over my cheeks to kind of veil everything out and add a little bit more of a glow on top of it all. I love doing this. It kind of adds just like that element of like, she's glowing, like she has a lit from within look, <laughs> which is what hourglass powders are supposed to do. And then for highlighter, um, the highlight in this palette is Iridescent Strobe Light. It is right here. Ooh, so pretty. Okay, so the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheats. I have a couple of these already. And they're really nice because they're creamy. And pigmented. And matte. So you can use them to line your lips, but you can also use them to color in your lips. And then just to add some more color to my lips and like a little bit of a balminess because these are matte and my lips are really dry as is my whole face. I'm gonna use this Lancome. So they sent me this too to test out. This is their um, Mademoiselle Shine Lipstick. Their Rouge Sensational Balm. Balmy Feel Lipstick. So this is in the color 398. Mademoiselle Loves, is that the, I don't know. I'll link it down below. <laughs> it's basically a balmy lipstick, which I'm obsessed with, especially nowadays when I'm trying to get ready really quickly. Oh, pretty. And the perfect color for this sweater. They smell good too. Balmy lipsticks are just so, easy you don't need a lip liner with them unless you want um they add hydration to your lips and they're just so perfect okay guys so here's the finished makeup look i kind of moved the camera away from the window to see like if it would help a little bit with the lighting but i'm loving it i think it's nice and like fun and festive. If I popped some falsies on, I think it would really bring this look to the next level. But I think that this mascara did a really good job also. I just, maybe it's because I haven't really worn makeup in a long time, but like I'm feeling so good. Like I did my hair, I did my makeup today. I have to say there isn't anything that I tried today that I'm like, oh my gosh. I think if anything, the Lancome palette the only thing I don't like about it is how big it is. It's gonna be a little bit difficult for me to store, but it's really cute. It'd look nice and cute on top of your vanity or something like that. But I have so much more new makeup that I just am dying to try. So if you guys would like to see another kind of chit chatty video, let me know. Um, but yeah, I'm loving this. So thank you guys so much for watching. <laughs> I know I don't have like super high energy in this video, but it's because I'm so tired. I'm still, like I said, struggling with this newborn phase and trying to figure out how to balance my new life, including sleep. So bear with me, but thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you next time.
tá? 